My name is Professor Tracy Holloway. I'm at the University of Wisconsin-Madison in the Nelson Institute for Environmental Studies and the Department of Atmospheric and Oceanic Sciences. My background is computer modeling of the atmosphere, and I'm especially interested in how these advanced computer models can help us make decisions about energy use. And when we're thinking about climate goals, what we're really thinking about is how much global warming can we deal with as a planet? The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or IPCC, has set that level at about 1.5 degrees Celsius. In 2019, MG&E announced a plan for net zero carbon emissions by 2050. MG&E asked us to conduct an independent analysis of the net zero carbon plan. We really came in as independent analysts. This is what we do in science. Science is all about taking a critical eye and using the best available information to solve a problem. We looked at computer model results from around the world that were published as part of a report from the IPCC. What do those computer models tell us that countries like the US have to do between now and 2050 to limit climate change? And what we found is that all of the models showed that significant carbon reductions were necessary. But the rate of those carbon reductions and the 2050 endpoint was right in line with what MG&E had already planned. So MG&E's policy is right in line and even a little more aggressive than what these computer models suggest. Dr. Holloway's report gives us a valuable input and expert perspective as we continue down our path towards deep decarbonization. We're working to decarbonize our electric generation by growing our use of renewable energy. We're also advancing electric vehicles. Transportation is the leading contributor of greenhouse gas emissions in the United States. We're doing everything we can today to cost-effectively reduce carbon emissions as quickly as we can. Our goal is ambitious, but we're committed to it. As your community energy company, MG&E is part of this community. We have a responsibility to those we serve, and we're making decisions every day to achieve our sustainability goals and to meet the needs of our customers and communities who rely on us. The solutions to reducing carbon emissions from Madison, from Wisconsin, around the world, these are not reliant on any one company doing one thing. This is something where we all have to work together and think about what kind of a community we want and how can we get there in the best way.